Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker. I'm your host Colors Fade. It's episode 65. We're in Vordekai's Tomb. This is Vordekai's Tomb. Part 2. Part 2. We have to go further into the tomb. We're ready to do that. I had recorded about half this episode before realizing that there was no game audio happening due to recent changes on the PC. So, for the first 20, 30 minutes or so, you're going to get a, a version of this where I already pretty much know what's going to happen. And that reminds me. Actually, let's take this off. Uh, we're going to get to something. We'll get there when we get there. As we crawl further into the tomb. Okay, there it is. There's the entrance. This is the entrance to the second level. We're running out of buffs. And we only have enough... Uh, I'm going to drop a bunch of this stuff. This hide armor. We only have enough camping supplies for one more rest, but we're going to get camping supplies in this next location. So that ends up being really fortunate, or at least we should get them. <laughs> Unless the game decides to screw me and says, well, you reloaded to save. Now you're toast. So these are our masterwork things. We want to take these and we wanted to ditch all that heavy armor. So there we go. And I'm really hoping that my voice audio shows up better in this particular recording. I've been struggling to get the voice audio right in the game over uh, the last couple of months because of PC changes. So we're going to quick save the game here and then we're going to try to buff everybody with what we have left for buffs. Was lost in yeah, you were. So what do we have? He has a strength. He's got his mutagen on. He's got a bear's endurance. And he's got a bear's endurance there. She has a bear's endurance. Okay. I have a bear's endurance for seven minutes. That's good. We just don't have a lot of buffs left. That's pretty much the problem. Everybody who can hit something has that buff. Does she have an eagle strength on? Eagle Splendor? She does for one minute, so why don't you use another one of those on her? Put this on Harim, because I think he's going to need to hit some things. And then what else do we have? Uh, protection from evil would be good. He has a shield spelled. He's got Death Ward on him for six minutes, and he doesn't, and that's kind of the problem. Adventures uh, right nobody here, else friend. has a Death Ward available. All his Death Wards are gone. So that's kind of the hard part. So what else do we have? Hampering Injury. First World Lantern. Okay. All right, so... I'm going to put Displacement on him. I'm going to do a shield on me. He's got a shield. Okay. Alright, we are going to try our best here. Why don't you just haste all of us right now so we don't have to burn that one either. Who will prevail? Okay. Does it matter? <laughs> Does it matter? Well, kind of. So, so he's the problem. He can do negative level drains, and that's kind of the issue. And we're going to talk more about that in a little bit. I don't really want him to do anything yet. In fact, I don't want anybody to do anything until they have competencies bonus from our bard all these guys rise up from nowhere and if they aren't walking from there so we're gonna wait for competency bonuses okay 
Okay, Ragongar, you're going to wait for a competency bonus as well. Because somebody's got to get up there and hit this guy. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of critters anymore either, which is a real shame. A lot of summons. So, Lindsay, this is the question. Does anybody have, like, summon, summon dogs? There's So here's the thing. He is going to use some fireballs because he can. Wand of freedom of movement and a wand of vampiric touch. Okay. Use this. I have fireballs as well, but I'm not very good at casting them. And then Lindsay. Dimension door mass. Mm. Somebody could get us all over next to that guy, which would be really helpful. But I don't want to blow that spell there. Summon dogs. Okay. Summon dogs. Lindsay, can you summon dogs? Not this turn, but maybe next turn. And there's the Peridot Wyvern, too. Wand of Grease and a Wand of Lightning Bolt. Okay. Alright, then. Well, what she needs to do is, first of all... Take a five-foot step out of the way here. Hit this for these guys. Wand of Lightning Bolt. Ooh, she could do that, but she can't hit him. Can she hit him? She could hit a lot of these guys. Okay. That was kind of awesome. That was pretty good. She did pretty good. She killed three of them. That's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going to protect Lindsay by hitting this guy, or I'm going to hit this guy, the zombie lord, because if I kill him, I might be able to hit this guy here. Now hit him with my other two attacks. Okay, so I killed two guys because of that. That's great. Ragongar. Hmm. Okay. This is where things get hard to decide what to do. I should have probably ran over because I have Death Ward. I probably should have ran over and got this guy. Because he can't level drain me. dead so it's up to Tristan does he want to do something fairy fire he can't sicken this guy because he's immune to it. he's actually undead he Repent. is uh, you forced my hand you can see he's a wizard and he's undead he's level 19 oh my gosh okay yeah so Although, since he's undead, Tristan, can you get over there next to him? Could you cast heal on him? I'm curious about this. Because it should harm undead, right? Trying to see the rest of the spell. Do I have to go to a spell book to see it? I want to see the rest of the spell description. Dang it, the video game. Give it to me. If used against an undead creature, heal acts as a harm. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know why my brain was not functioning. Let's go over here. And use a heal on him. Miss? I missed. I forgot about that part of the equation. Okay. Let us strike as one. 
Bummer. You're gonna run over here too then. I got an idea. He will save 20 versus 17. He rolled a nat 20 and I rolled a 2 to hit him with a spell. Guys, drink. <laughs> Let's try to touch a chaos him so he has to roll twice. Harim cast offensively and succeeds and he missed because he rolled. Come on! And he takes three levels off of him. I rolled a two again to hit him? Come on. Come on, man. It's just... You're... Gosh. Sometimes these games, I just don't know. Make him fall down. She cast grease and it didn't affect him at all. Okay. I gotta get over here and hit this guy. Okay. Uh, you don't need, yeah, touch of fatigue these guys. Come on. I rolled a one. Okay, Tristian. Well, since heal <laughs> won't help Ragongar, then we're just going to try this again. Oh my god. Rolled a 19, but he's got the mirror image on him, so that was stupid. Okay. Alright. I'm brain dead playing this game. Harim. Try it again. Missed. Because you rolled a 10. Attack result, 27, but it's got mirror image on him, so I should have just swung at him. And then he moves with a dimension door. Shoot him. You gotta get the mirror images off him. I'm going to delay, and Ragongar is going to go up here. I don't need you to heal. I just need you to shoot. don't need you to heal. <sighs> Onwards. Okay. That helped. I don't need to heal anybody. Dang it. Holy Lance. Holy. Mm, okay. Harim, can you get up here? Repent. What happened there? Innovation. Make an attack of opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Saving throw succeeded. Okay. You deserve Since it. he's undead, he's immune to everything, so. See if you can get in there for an attack of opportunity when someone crits this bad boy. Stay behind me. And every time you hit him, an undead raises. I totally forgot about that. Oh my god. Okay, what's going on, guys? Why are we kind of stuck here? We're stuck. Not fun. Okay, what are our odds of killing this guy here? And I missed on the last one. I missed on the last one. 
Hmm. Any chance I can end him with Scorching Ray? Okay, he's dead. But lots of enemies still here. She got the negative level. Bummer. Okay, we'll fix that in a little bit. Tristian! You can't do anything else. I gotta keep trying to fix the game here. Um, Harim. Do this. Okay. Channel positive energy, yes. What, what? The game is really screwing up now. Not fond of this. Okay, Harry, and we're back to you. Well, then. I don't care if that guy hits me. Because I gotta get over here and help my girl. And then he's still, he's locked in. Going on there. I know. Let's have you heal everybody. Okay. Lindsay, oh my gosh. Girl, can you? Uh, you, you can't. You gotta take a five foot step and get out of it. Okay. Now, try to make all of them fall down. Two of them fell down. That's good. Harim. Okay. And we're gonna do this because the game is somehow bugged. Bleed for me. We get down to the last critter here and may have to just switch it over to real time with pause. Okay. Harim, do this again. Lindsay, yeah, sure. Shoot that guy. I'm just going to do real time with pause here to try to get out of this mess. Come over here. Let us strike as one. Okay. I don't know what it's pausing for. Something. Miss, it's pausing for misses? I don't. certifiably awful let's go up here yes I'm still here something bothering you yes lots of things are bothering me <laughs> especially the fact that the turn-based mode didn't work okay what I'm going to do is uh, quit and reload the save and hope that fixes the turn-based brokenness of this and then there's also one other thing that I'm gonna do so I'll be right back Okay, we're back, and here's the thing that I changed. This is actually really cool. If you go to the main menu screen, there's actually a button for the Unity Mod Manager now, which is kind of crazy that they just integrate it into the game. Or maybe the Unity Mod Manager adds that button. That's pretty awesome, though. I didn't know that existed. Anyway, the point is, I do have a beef with this game in one particular area, and it's this. And it's not with the game. Keep in mind, this is what the Pathfinder rule set that I have a problem with it. And this is restoration requires two diamond dust. So I'm a big fan of games teaching you how to play them. And one of the things that you do as you play Pathfinder is you keep getting more and more spells, higher and higher level spells in your spell book. You get level one spells and then level two spells and level threes. And all along the way, as long as you get a spell and memorize it, you can use it. And then you get to restoration and it's like, oh yeah, you can have a bunch of these memorized, but you still can't use them because you have to have diamond dust, which 
I find absurd mechanically that like I'm of the opinion that if you're going to make somatic components parts of spells start at level one and make every spell require a somatic component and then just make those components a part of the world the idea that you can play 11 levels into a game and then get hamstrung by not having a component on you in a dungeon where enemies are clearly going to level drain you is really bad game design. And this falls not on Alcat because all they can do is implement the rules in the game. This falls on the makers of Pathfinder their rule set and, and so this brings us to something else which is the the fifth edition dungeons and dragons rules that baldur's gate 3 uses you've all been maybe following that on my channel as well i'm not a big fan of the concentration requirement in, in that set of rules because it means you can only have one buff at a time i really don't like that part of it but i do love that they basically removed all negative attributes and negative levels from the fifth edition rules not only because they're complicated to calculate when you do in pencil and paper they're still it's easy on the computer in a game like this because the computer can just do all the calculations for you but they're also just bad game design and and what i mean by that is it's terrible to give the player something and then take it away from them. It's like a parent giving a small child, child a toy and then five minutes later taking it away from me. Like, well, you can't play with that now. You, you all know, you've probably heard me rant before about my least favorite quest in role-playing games is the go to jail naked quest because you've spent the whole game building up all your equipment and then boom, you have to do this quest and, it, and you, all your shit gets taken away. Skyrim does that and, and Witcher 3 does it and a whole bunch of games do it and I hate it every single time. I hate having things given to me and taken away. And that's what this is. Level level drains are just the dumbest mechanic ever and I really don't know who's responsible for this. But I'd like to go back in time and have a time machine and go back to when they were sitting around their office workspaces or their tables thinking about rules to put in for Dungeons and Dragons and later Pathfinder and they're like oh let's do negative level drains and I would reach across the table and I would physically slap them and I'd say don't don't do that this is bad game design so anyway with that little rant out of the way I think this is awful but you have a spell to take care of it, but unfortunately that spell is locked behind having diamond dust, which I did not have. So I just went to Unity Mon Manager and I um, I used Bag of Tricks and I just gave myself a bunch of a diamond dust. And it's the only quote unquote cheat in the whole game I've used because this system is just broken. Because what I don't like about this is you're asking the player to to be clairvoyant to know when they are going to need this component and have to spend money and there's already enough money sinks in this game and in pathfinder wrath of the righteous these game developers always do tons of money sink things so why would i want to roast a whole bunch of of coin on this when i don't even know when this is going to come in handy you know, like you're not always near a vendor where you can buy diamond dust from. I guess that's that's the part I don't like is that these somatic components aren't just part of the world where you can gather them up and then use them. It's I've got to go to I have to go to a vendor for this. And and in a game like this where travel is kind of time consuming and difficult and everything in the game is time locked, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. So. So we're just going to do this. Now we get this stuff. And this is what's this is the one thing that is cool. This, in a way, is also a somatic component. You need a component to rest. I'm fine with the camping supplies thing, which I believe completely got removed in Wrath of the Righteous, right? Oh, it, it's different. You do have to you have to be able to camp, but you don't need camp supplies. It's different anyways. Um. But here, this is cool. I was getting panicky thinking I only have six camping supplies left. So I've got one full party rest left in this dungeon. And this dungeon, level two, is, is pretty big. But then, 
you come along here and there's two and three and four and five and six, which is wonderful. And then there's a bunch of masterwork weapons that we can grab. So we got a full party rest coming up if we want to use it. Well, we're going to want to. Because really what you want to do in this dungeon is you want to, we need to rest very soon. And then you want to rest before the big finale too. And there's this Caneberry. And then we're going to come down here. So here is the way it's looking. Now, since we have rotation on, which game doesn't do by default. Now, let's do this. We got a couple of baddies here. Ragongar, you can have that. Ragongar can do this on her. You can haste everybody. You, you don't need to displace yourself. And you've already shielded yourself, so let's go. I shall end this suffering. Maybe you will. So you have some undead cyclops. And I think these might be the last undead in the game. Uh, and there might be the last Cyclops in the game. I'm uh, not in the game, in this dungeon. I'm incorrect about that. Let us strike as one. Let us. Okay, Hatterim, I should have waited till after Lindsay's able to do this. Zap that guy. Okay. I should wait until this guy moves. He's gonna come up and hit Valerie. A missed, which is good. I'm gonna come up here and can I? I can, yeah, I can only get one hit in. So let's try to take his AC down. I'll cut you. Hadarim, can you kill him? Not quite. Maybe you can, though, with fire. Good job. Okay. Over to here. Do not falter. Come on. Oh my god, it glitched again. It glitched to where she's supposed to move up and hit him and she can't. Okay. That's a bummer. All you can really do, all you could do here is try to make him fall down. Well, it worked. Pretty smacky there. Okay. All right, you guys are doing good. Now, here. This requires your attention. It is scrap of script colored leather. Then we're ready to keep going in this direction. I believe I found something. Yes, you have. So the question is, where can we actually camp at? Can we camp here? Would it be wise to try camping here? What do we have? We have a greater... Okay. We don't have any more haste. I wrote it like I saw it. But we may have... We have scrolls. Okay. Lindsay, can you scroll us? And we still have the period out wyvern, so. And Lindsay was called forth. Why don't you do this? Oh, your period out wyvern is out, isn't it? Okay. 
Why don't you zap this guy? Okay, let's delay on him. He's not going to move, so you can get up here. You could charge him, in fact. Okay. Harim, you can get up here. I can get up here. We're coming to the maze. Repent. Okay, you're going to come up here and do this. Make everybody competent. Stay behind me. She's got that undead hammer. She's got this thing. The Harbinger plus four giant bane earthbreaker. I mean, that's just, that's very effective for her. It's very awesome. Okay, yeah. Great sword, full plate, grab all that. Okay, now there's this. The little maze. This is, uh-oh, trap, negative energy trap. This is a reminder of, uh, or a callback, I guess, to Baldur's Gate. The first Baldur's Gate game had a couple of really long mazes in it. We just had to do this. It was just a lot of walking around. And there were traps, of course, all along the maze. Okay. What's this look like on the map? Like that. Take a quick break and look at a map on this thing. Okay, I think we just need to proceed forward here. I think we're going to run into some stuff, though. What do we have? We still have 36 minutes on delay poison, which is going to be important. My search was not in vain. At least you guys found this trap. So what do we have here? It's a dead end. Oh, interesting. Whoa, guys, Lindsay, don't run off there by yourself like a dummy. She's like, I know the way. If you go this way, she's going to get herself and everybody else killed. What is she? Oh, she still has power attack on. Okay. Well, we'll s I, a lot of times I like to turn that off because hitting is more important than missing with a lot of damage bonus. So. I've discovered something. This is so reminiscent of a particular maze in Baldur's Gate. One or two. I can't remember which one. I think one. But I know there was a maze in two as well. Just like this, really narrow little corridors. One had a bunch of kobolds in it, so that would have been Baldur's Gate 1, I believe. This is so much harder without screen rotation. It is great with the screen rotation mod. This is way better. I believe I found something. You found something, all right. Like, what's this look like now? Okay, so there's the maze, and... Hmm. I believe this direction leads to something especially dangerous. I've discovered something. Good job, Tristan. Okay, so can we just rest here? This might be the best place to rest. Let's see if we can camp right here. It flashed green for a second right there, didn't it? <gasps> when enemies are nearby, because there's an enemy right there. Okay. Can we go 
back to the other end of the maze then? Okay, can we rest here? Right there. All right, everybody, we're going to rest. Oh, but before we rest, I got an idea. Hold on. You, what do you have for spells? Okay, you've got Archon's Aura, Delay Poison Communal, which lasts forever, Remove Disease. Mm, I almost like I'd rather you have some more skeletons. You have this, this, Protection from Entity, Death Ward. Okay. We might need some more death wards. Who who has a bunch of death wards? Oh, I got you. You got a bunch of heals set up. I, yeah, there you go. I'm clicking on it. I'm clicking on it. <laughs> and you have a bunch of delay poison set up. You have delay poison and a bunch of these guys. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. He's got one heal. He's got that. I'd like him to have another one of these death wards. But that's okay. We'll hang out with this. Summon medium elemental. What are the creatures? Dire wolf, extra, extra planar monitor lizards, and wolves. Eh, no. Those are not sturdy enough. Okay. We have rations. You are so strong and noble, Valerie. Sometimes when I see you fighting, I think of Saren Ray and her battle against Rovagug. That's... that's the greatest compliment I've ever heard in my life. I swear by it. And I've heard a great many compliments. He's just trying to throw you off guard. That's all. It's all that's happened. Okay, my friend. Let's go back to here. Right there, this door. So this door has something in it. Might as well cut out all the travel, huh? <laughs> it's, all they're doing is running through a maze. Okay, what we're going to do here is buff. And then we'll come back to this. Okay, we're buffered. We're buffered and... Let's see, how long does this buff last? One minute per level. I'm mm. listening. Okay. Let's quick save and see what we can do. Oh, I don't like surprises. Where the hell are we going? There was no way out of here, he says. Okay. Who is that guy? Willis Gunderson. Will is gonna, there's supposed to be what? There's supposed to be a door right here. Okay, hold on. Right there. This is where the thing is. Okay. Wand of Slow. Cy cloak of the Winter Wolf and an ancient Cyclops coin. Oh, how interesting. Okay. The map that I'm looking at online says there's an Astrodamon here, but uh, there's not. So, 
Uh oh, but there's ferocious soul eaters up this way. Okay. Well, we have our death ward on, so if we're going to go fight ferocious soul eaters, we should go do them here. What's in here? Oh, God. I think I remember this room. This is huge. It's full of zombies. Hmm. Can you... Something bothering you? Can one of you guys... Do this? Okay. Let's just wait for everybody. That's a miss. Okay. Wait for her competency. Hold on. Let's do everybody after Harry. Harim, I want you to do this. Personal one minute per level. Wait for her. She's gonna do one of these. Kind of get out of the way there, sister. Oh, really? Wow. Why are these guys not attacking? I know they're going to. Okay. That's why. <laughs> I just had to get them in position to attack. Um, hmm. Now we can't choke point them. That sucks. Okay. Well. Fireballs, my friend. Let's do fireballs. That helped. You've got the same kind of thing. You got some fireballs and you got some holy flame strike stuff. So what about this? And that was nice. Harim, you have a little different situation here. Why don't you make it hard for them to get to us? We have a zombie lord, zombie lord, zombie, 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 zombie. Okay. I'm gonna get ready to use your use stuff later. Alright, you my friend. Can you shoot this up here? It's massive. That's a lot of enemies. Snarling. They're very snarly. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. That is insane. I'm going to delay you until after Tristan goes, because Tristan can do a big undead blammo and blow some people up. Tristan, where are you? You're right there. I want you to move up to right. Right there. It 
There's a lot of guys that died. <laughs> it's very nice. But I have a Harim there and I have you here. Okay. So you could either fire another fireball or you could start smacking guys around here. Let's do Very smacky. Has a lot of skeletons and a lot of zombies. I think Harim can do way more damage if he can take a five foot step in some direction here and hit these guys with this. Yep. That's a lot more damage. So that in my mind is better. Now Lindsay. If I move you to right here, first of all, get that up. And then zap, 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 like right there. Don't hit your own person here. I don't want to hit her, but do this. That was really nice. That was effective. I love games like this when you, this is, this is one of my favorite times to play a Dungeons and Dragons game is when you get to a point where they're throwing an encounter like this at you where there's a lot of enemies, but they're not super powerful. It's fun to fight boss mobs, but I like this just as much when you get to use all your AOE effects and stuff. I mean, at this point in time, I wish she had whirlwind. Just go nuts here, but... Wait a minute. Is she not hasted? Are you guys not hasted? You're not hasted? Oh, crap. Okay. Right, instead of having him burn a spell, have him do this. Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to have him move close enough to here that he can get additional hits in when she starts smacking people. Oh, Lindsay. Tristan's going to get a chance to play the hero here in a second. And kill a whole bunch more enemies. Alright, my man. That's a lot of guys who just died. Very nice. Bragangar, who do you got near you that's... Oh, kill this guy, will ya? Fear me. Get him off of Lindsay. Gotta hit him to kill him there, dummy. And now my skeletons. Lindsay's gonna have a straight line here. She can still use this again. Although Hadim has got a chance to... Lay waste to a bunch of dudes. Very nice. Lindsay. Very nice. Who's left? Where are these guys left at? Where are these guys? Well, right there. Come over here and kill him. Where's this guy at? He always shambling from over there. Okay. You forced my hand. I'll cut you. Lots of dead enemies. Okay, here we go. All right. There's more dangerous stuff up here. Quick save.
what's over here? Mushrooms. Collapsed passage. Oh boy. Lindsay. Lindsay was called forth. I've done your request. Let's leave this place now. Tristan is silent for a moment. And we should collapse the entrance so no one ever. Why? This chamber. Hmm. Tristan looks at you, but doesn't seem to see you. His eyes, normally calm, are troubled. It is the heart of the evil that fills this whole tomb. Everything here bears the traces of the one Vordecai worshipped. I beg you, let us leave this place. I don't want you to suffer Vordecai's fate, you or anyone else. The powers of darkness are strong here. They can corrupt even the strongest of hearts. Our people's safety comes first. We'll do as you say. Let's go back and collapse the passage. No. Uh, really? Do I want to do this? It's a, it, my note here says big Cyclops fight plus ferocious soul eaters. Okay. Well, let's do this then. I guess. We'll obey him. So, yeah. So, supposed to be a big Cyclops fight and soul eaters there. Well, I don't. I've. I have kind of had my fill of the soul eaters, so. It's a thing to press there. Are we slow because we're... Oh, we're light as a group. Okay. Well, we can still run if we want to. I believe I found something. Yeah, you say that. So we left something on a wall a while back here, didn't we? Oh yeah, so what is this? What is this? Oh, this goes where? Locked, okay. Yeah, that leads to somewhere else. What is this? This is, this was on the wall, right up here. Stuff. Okay, so to the left here, room of a hundred traps. <laughs> okay. All righty. Looks like we gotta go this way. Oh. Can you make it there are lots more Cyclopses here, apparently. Why don't you do this? Wait for the Cyclops. Oh, you're a prayer Cyclops. I'll try to make this swift. What a waste. Die for me. More Cyclops. Yeah, you should get up in there and then there's a bunch of undead guys. Okay. Onwards. Lindsay. Hmm. Here's what I think you should do. Make it difficult for anybody. Yeah, he wants to damage living. We're going to damage him. That was nice. To see that fire off. So it's come to this. Harim, are you going to fall down on your face going at that angle? Let's wait for a second. Bleed for me. Oh. 
Okay. Stay behind me. Now, how do you? There we go. Knock down. Perfect. Lindsay, what would you like to do? Don't keep wasting points on that. Some undead guys in here. Shoot this dude. Now they're aggro. Here they come. Oh, takes the dirt nap. Repent. Fear me. That one's dead. Valerie, wait for this guy. Same thing with you. Okay. How many more are there? Just these guys. Let us strike as one. Harim? Do you want to go up there and get that guy? Nice. Lindsay, wait till all these guys have gone. Alright, I will run up here and kill that guy. That's nice. You forced my hand. I have a feeling that he's gonna fall down if I try to get him to do something else. You. Okay, he's stuck. He can't get over there. Can't complete the move. Any last wishes? Do not falter. Very nice, Valerie. Your life bears low. This guy's going to wake up and he's going to go straight for my little one. You cannot have my bard. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure there's anything to loot here, but... Oh, there's more camping supplies. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back here then and look at what these guys had. I never did loot these zombies because I thought they probably all had junk, but... That may not be the case. These guys may have tons of things. If there's more camping supplies... Which I'm not seeing any. Masterwork stuff. Oh, there's camping supplies there. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I have to wonder if that's a late addition from a patch because the first time I played Kingmaker far enough to get into the game to get to this dungeon, I don't remember that happening. I remember being screwed because you didn't have camping supplies. So that's really interesting. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Well then, we're in here. We're in here and folks, this episode's getting long. So again, oh, and I'm going to have people fall down because of the grease. The, the, it's a big dungeon. There's a whole area in here that we still have to do before we can get to uh, the exit downstairs. To Vordekai, so it's just a huge dungeon. Vordekai level 2. It's Pathfinder Kingmaker episode 65. Still a fun game. Enjoying it. As always, if you dig it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. I'll see you next time, everybody. Thanks for watching.